Hey guys, it's me, Delta One, here with Airsoft Talk, and just wanted to wish a Merry Christmas to everybody, and this is an update that I was going to wait to do, but I think I'll give you all a little bit of an early Christmas present, um, and show you. Now, there's been some things going on in the garage, and y'all remember the Black Friday stuff that I bought? Well, I finished organ I've almost finished organizing about 80 to 75 percent, and, uh, Doing some updates to the to the where I'm working and garage and stuff, and I'll just show you what I'm gonna do, and I guess I'll do an after video. So I'm mainly gonna be free manning it with the hand today because there's just it's not done yet. Again, we have stuff like this just sitting around, so get that out of the way. Um, I'll show you the update uh, again, free manning it. Some of the things I've gotten, and I'm gonna be doing and making videos on. So let's get on with that. First thing is the workbench is a mess right now. Because, again, we had to move everything, my father and I. Uh, it's been coming over and helping me out and re-doing uh, the garage's electric workings and stuff. So, um, this is what it is right now. We've been just getting it ready. So, first thing is, you may have noticed, if you are on Facebook, you probably saw this, but I only posted a picture of it like four hours before this video. I got a new sound system as opposed to my old one, which is literally like 15 years old is crap um this is i don't know exactly which one this is but i'm i don't recommend it because it it's very finicky with audio like files and different it gives different volumes and all that overall for what i'm using it for that's what i needed i got this for christmas from my parents i was very happy with it um uh, it's free so i can't complain um the wall the parts have been moved into to my room so, more or less, the stuff I use, like soldering and tape and all that, they've gone right here. Again, the PPSH is still in parts. I've been so busy. Um, got the center speaker here. Now, again, this is just my workbench. I'm getting... Uh, also, you've seen this. I'm cleaning this out, and I'm making this to where all my uh, tools go. Uh, again, I'm learning how to weld, and I'm also buying a machining press and a grinding wheel or whatever. Um, all this will disappear, new pegboard will go there, uh, and that's going to be a whole nother workbench. As you can see, there's like a $400 vise right here, so that'll be nice. So that'll clear off. Um, again, we've also, we put a fan, let me get back so I could show you. We put a fan in here for the summer. Um, again, I thought we'd just do that while we're here, and then another light bar right there. That's going to go right here so we're going to have more lighting. We moved that light. It used to be uh, hanging like this one right here. But it isn't anymore. Um, again, table and stuff is here just to help organize stuff. Now you may be wondering, what is this? This I got Northern Tool Company on sale. These are normally like three, $400, which is ridiculous considering it's just sheet aluminum or sheet steel, whatever, it's it's not really that fantastic in terms of quality. The bins, maybe five-year live shelf in, in uh, where I'm at because of how hot it gets and humidity. But uh, let's go over what's in some of them. Like, for instance, here, just AK mags, more AK mags, more AK mags. More AK mags, more AK mags, more AK mags, AK mags, drum, a uh, Palmer drum, and another drum. Uh, some random Drubble drum that I, I found when I was cleaning my room. M4 drum, some Sig mags. Uh, random assortment of mags, some like G36 and M14, um, M4 mags that I just randomly acquired. Here is nothing but V3 gearboxes and shells, V3 shells and gearboxes. Um, actually, this is the random one. This is the one that is not a V2 or a uh, uh, or a V3. So there's a there's a two uh, version sevens from a G and G. And a KSP-90, and there's a little AEP gearbox I found. That was in my room. This is a box of version 3s. Uh, some of this stuff is even new. I didn't even know I had a majority of this. 
This is a box, I believe, of threes. Then there's the version two box. There's another one. Um, these are my 11 ones. I have more in my room that I've been using. And some chargers. Uh, here's a charger and my 7.4s, I believe. Yeah, 7.4s. I have a ton in my room of 7.4s. Here's 9.6 volts. All those are 9.6s. Um, here's some 8.4s that I've acquired. And then another random double drum. AK top covers. So I'm, I'm, I'm loaded for those. Um, here's some like AK random parts and rails and stuff. Then we have... Um, I had that in a certain way. There's an M, some barrel assembly for a G36 and a G36 receiver. Then we have a more G36 parts. Um, this is an MP5 and just something I threw in there. That's like an ICS lower that I just found laying around. Um, here we have some AR, random AR parts. AR receivers. Let me stand up for you guys. Uh, sorry, I can't do this with a tripod. It would be just... that's AK top covers and a uh, GNG. What's it called? A uh, spring guide assembly for the AK bolt, the bolt guide or whatever. Some Sig parts I found. ICS. I don't mind getting rid of those. Um, these are just AK pistol grips, AK hand guards, and. Anything that'll fit on an AK handguard assembly. Then we have um, this is just random crap. I threw in some pistol grips and I threw in a GNG M14. I don't know if that's a top receiver or whatever. I don't know. I don't do M14s. This is all MP5 crap. So I want to get rid of that. Not really get rid of it, but you get the point. Don't mind letting it go. Um, these are just AK stocks at this point. Um, some are wooden. These are meant for the JG ones, which I believe are the VFC design, maybe. I'm not really 100% sure. And uh, that came off the GNG, the black one. And this is just some SEMA crap. Just spares laying around, so it's always good to have spare parts. That I don't really need to pull out, but I will anyways, because it looks beautiful. Just a bunch of top cover, I mean, receivers for AKs. They're good to have laying around. That one's modified to fit an RPK stock. Some more uh, AK receivers, VFC and D Boy style. Here's a. Man. These are pistol receivers, and that's a 74 VFC style uh, side folder. I will be using that on a gun. Um, here's some more AK bodies. Man, get back in there. These are uh, TM, 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 so those are TM style. Then I have, uh, let's pull this out, that's a uh, JG Black, it's a JG Dragon off stock, painted black. Um, and then there's some AK stocks in there as well. Um, this is just random parts at this point. Um, some like, some hand guards and foregrips. And I, I never posted this video, I made a video tiger striping this um, a long time ago, like... Two and a half years ago, saying how to t how to do it, and if you look closely, let me put this down. I took a black marker over where the primer was, and I just taped this. I, I had no idea what I was doing. This is like a couple. I had no idea. Um, random bipod, some unopened flashlights that I uh, will be using sometime in the future. Uh, battery chargers and random wiring. Never really get rid of wiring and. Uh, Tamiya connectors because there's always a use for them and by the way my uh, shelving thing can do that which is really handy again I still haven't fully organized it there's BBs up there BBs BBs and then this is just this one right here just a bunch of random parts um, that right there my pinky disguised I'm sending that to you because it's an ICS um, split gearbox it's only the left the it's the left side of the shell if you're staring at the back of it. I don't have any use for it, so that's kind of a rare part. Um, so that's just that. It's about 75% complete. And up above, I had a bunch of spares of these. And you wouldn't believe how often I use them. Um, for
for just organizing, pre-organizing to organize into like a bins like that. Very, very handy. Now let me pull out this so I can get a better view and show you exactly what's where and how I did it. Well, you already know how I did it, but yeah. Just give me a second to do that. Okay, so what I like about this is that it's on wheels. So in order for me to pull it out, I just grab my handle on here, just yank it around, and it moves and locks into place. So, I mean, these are really cheap, shitty bins. I mean, for whatever the reason, these cost like 150 bucks, and I don't know why. There's really nothing there to me. Anyways, we just have a bunch of uh, cylinders um, and uh, V3 and pretty much everything. Then there's aluminum ones. I really don't have that many, and just seeing how, many, how much more I have of those makes me want to stock up on them. And I only have one aluminum one so I don't feel like throwing wasting one bin just for one part. So those are polycarb piston heads. Those are V3 spring guides and those are like V2s and whatever else. These are the 8mm bushings I have found right there. Those are all 8mm bushings, bearings, ball bearings. Those are 7mm. Now there's a ton of 7mm because we have finally gotten rid of the 6. So right there is 6 seven and eight millimeter I don't have any for nine millimeter because nine millimeter is almost pointless or they don't have true nine millimeter those are just hop-up units hop-up buckings and stuff that I had laying around then we have here an empty bin and this is my screw bin um, like random screws that I find and like random assorted parts um, let me grab a flashlight did I grab the one from inside Oh, there's one. Okay, it's not much of a light, but you can see it's just screws. Um, then those are my Polar Star uh, nubs. I have like a ton of them, AK uh, selector plates. Um, those are AK parts, like small components, screws, uh, gearbox parts. And then we have the AR small bin kind of deal then we have a uh, magazine winders um, bearings for like spring guides and pistons we have the air nozzle part and I threw the G&G &G combat machine uh, blowback thing in there because I found that and that's kind of a rare part to find spare to my knowledge and then I just have a random Dean in there heat shrink wiring and that's just this side so let's Get over to the other side real quick. Let me put you all down so I can do so. Okay. So here we go. Those are all uh, uh, bevel gears and whatnot. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it. Then I have spurs, all my spur gears, then my sectors. And I have a, a Siege Tech right there, that little one right there. The black one, that's a Siege Tech, I think. Um, then I have some anti reversal latches, uh, yaw bars or whatnot. I believe that's what they call it, and motor springs. Then we have the... Uh, uh, these are the uh, long type motors I've acquired over working on guns. Here's the short type. I have a lot of good short type motors laying around on hand. And keep in mind, these parts are just the stuff I have that's like used and like not in the box. Then I have uh, the polycarb pistons that have only one to three metal teeth. Then these are the full metal rack teeth pistons. Um, then I have just my entire collection of tappet plates. Um, cylinders that aren't uh, P90. Uh, these are just cylinders that are all, like random. You know, not your standard full cylinder or your uh, M4 cylinder, or P90, or G36 cylinder, stuff like that. Then in here we just have a little O-ring. Get that out of my way. These are full cylinders, and these are just ported, standard ported. Then we have all of my random springs, like all of them. Let me show you how, yeah, it's about 50 springs. It's a packet of Deans. 
sorbethane buffer pad. And then that's uh, parts to a GMP I need to put back together. These are just random assorted parts in a motor cage. Ugh. Stand up. So, And then on top of this, you have like kind of like a little tray. As you can see, I've thrown just a bunch of random shit on it. Um, this I normally use for when I put like screwdrivers and stuff. So again, this, this was a necessity. I'm so glad I bought this and I bought that. And unfortunately, I saw my credit card bill. I spent somewhere in the neighborhood of like 800 bucks on tools this month. Just because I'm getting ready to start opening, not really open up a custom workshop, but that's kind of what I want to do. Um, here's the next thing of what I got. Random oil filters for a car. Get that out of the way. This is a Husky tool thing, my Bob. This I haven't finished organizing. Random Uzi that I blew up that I like. Um... 3-in-1 oil, I need to put that in my oil bin. Um, this I just threw in here temporarily, but um, when you shut this, this right here locks the entire drawers so they don't open, but right now I haven't finished organizing my tools. I'm not yet done, but they do, unfortunately, sway back and forth, so it's not the highest quality one, but in order to get high quality ones, they're like 800 bucks. It's like, no. This is just my, um, like, JB Weld, whoops. JB Weld, other sort of chemicals, like shoe goo. I use stamps, random stuff like this. White lithium grease, I highly recommend using this on your guns. And, uh, what's the other one? Uh, that, I don't really use that. But JB Weld, JB Weld, JB Weld. Silicone oil, silicone oil. And then I have Teflon tape. Um, I found it for like 10 cents, so I bought like a ton of it. Um, then I have this hat mount for lighting, which is really awesome. You can do one, three, whole bar, and you can do flashing, which is really annoying. Whatever. Um, then I bought some Harbor Freight kind of stuff. This is just like their version of JBL well, because it's cheap. So I have white lithium, and I believe my other grease. Is somewhere in the vicinity over here. Yep, there it is. Uh, silicone. Here we go. Oh, and two-part epoxy. So these are just tools I have right here. Uh, some Dremel bits. Some screwdriver bits for like those universal screwdrivers. And then I found uh, ten bucks. It was like twelve fifty plus two dollars fifty. So it was like fifteen bucks for twenty rolls of electrical tape. And you may be thinking, oh, it's probably crap. It's actually really good. I've used it on a lot. Now it won't shut because I'm on video and it wants to embarrass me. Come on. Fuck jam it. Okay, so after like 20 minutes of trying to figure out why, this was sticking up and preventing the this shelf to move. So I have to take this out. This is some more universal like screwdriver bits. And there's like a bunch of screwdrivers. My screwdriver box and utility, stuff like that. And put that in, and right here, we have zip ties, because there's always a use for zip ties, more Dremel bits, and a, the flex shaft for my Dremel workstation. And I will be making videos on this, guys, I promise. I'm just super busy and don't have time right now, so. And that'll give me more of a better review of it, because I use it all the time. So, I mean. It's great. Anyways, uh, that's that one, and then loud noises. This is my barrel box, and right now I don't have a place for them because I don't know anywhere else. So shut that. Meh. Then we have whatever won't fit. There's a bunch of AK barrel assemblies and a saw box mag, and some of this stuff, which is to put inside lining. In here to print stuff from rolling around but yeah that's pretty much it for now I mean that's just it so let me put y'all back on the tripod so y'all can see I know my garage is a mess oh my roommates which also work with tools love to mine so much they went to Home Depot and bought one as well so let me put y'all back on a tripod
Okay, so now that that's done with, and I know this video is probably going to be like 25 minutes long, so I apologize, but um, again, I just felt like y'all deserved being updated. Um, just pretty much it. So, I guess I'm going to talk for like two seconds about stuff. Now, you may be wondering, hey, Delta, I need that one random part, and you have like abundance of it. If you are seriously interested in PayPaling me, I take PayPal for parts. I ship them. I'm not shipping anything until January uh, 10th right now, uh, except to certain people uh, that I owe parts to. Um, and I'm not putting them above y'all for like the reasons of, the, hey, they're my friends. It's because I told them I would, and I'm going to, and it's my time off uh, from working and all that. So, uh, again, I'm probably going to Somewhere around the mid-January, I'm going to start posting videos probably like almost three, four times a day. Um, pretty much that. But again, back to the buying the parts. Um, mags are not for sale, period. Um, no mags are for sale. Um, gearbox shells and parts like that, of course. Again, I could throw you a set of uh, XYT gears. I'll sell those for probably $10. Bucks. Um, I don't know if that's like a good price or not, but... Ten bucks, then plus shipping, which is like another five. So fifteen shipped. And uh, but yeah, in terms of like spare parts, I, which I have an abundance of, and I'm pointing them over here because I can see them, but you can't. And there's rain in the background, so I apologize. Um, but yeah, I'll sell some parts. Uh, I have no problem doing that. But there are other technicians that I have a trade with, and by that I mean I send them stuff. I don't, I don't with technicians, tech to tech. I like to set up a trade, a barter. Um, I don't, because techs normally are on a budget, and I apologize for the rain. It is progressively getting louder, which is kind of annoying me, so I'm going to go shut the door. Okay, anyways, um, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I, I like to do barters with techs not, uh, it, to an extent. Um, I will sell stuff tech to tech, but I, I really kind of try and avoid doing that, just because as a technician myself, I don't like to pay for parts when I'm building something ridiculous and something fails. Um, so I like to barter, so if you want to set up a barter going on, um, I guess I'll do that. But, uh, again, I have to become friends with you first. And I'm not I'm not saying, you know, I, it's just a matter of trust. That's the problem, is people like to rip everyone off, and it's just, you got to watch your own back. Um, AR parts, I want to keep some, but I want to get rid of some, so AR parts I'd like to thin out on. Um... But other than that, guys, I mean, that's my parts. That's almost all of it. Um, this is just stuff I've acquired over five years and just never really organized it and didn't really get rid of anything. But now that I'm going to start building guns, one of my newest projects is do, uh, was inspired. I've wanted to do this for the longest time. Now that I organize my parts, I have everything that I need to do it. So I'm kind of happy about that. Is uh, I'm building uh, I'm building a CQB setup where it's two AK pistols, and again I'm learning how to weld some attack weld onto the back of the the AKs. A uh, kind of like a you know those things that are kind of like a screw, and then it comes out and makes like an O. I'm gonna cut one of those down, tack weld that to the back, and make that the sling mount, and run dual AK pistols with drums, shooting probably 30 to 40 RPS. Um, again, I could do that out of spare parts. It's not an issue. Um, doing that. Uh, my bill will probably cost me less than a hundred dollars, um, so in, in parts that I paid for. So again, guys, lots of new stuff coming out. Again, I will make my own custom guns that I sell. I'll take pictures. Basically, what I do is once I make a custom gun, I'll take pictures of it, post prices, and then be like, if I have to build this, the first one will be the first one. That'll be the cheapest one because it'd be the base. And then after that, basically stuff becomes progressively more expensive because then I have to go buy the parts to make it. So this is a super ridiculously long video. If you watched it all, you're awesome. You deserve a cookie. And Chuck Norris is now your friend, even though he's 70 years old, so that'd be kind of creepy. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Merry Christmas. And if this video, is, if you see it tomorrow, let me know what you got for Christmas. So, Merry Christmas, guys, and thanks for watching.